Hi guys, I'm Jana Tarjov, a family nurse practitioner that focuses on functional medicine. Um, just wanted to give you a quick, quick update on NP thyroid. So first of all, when I started my thyroid sub hormone supplementation, I was starting on levothyroxine, which is T4 synthetic. Well, it worked somewhat, but it didn't work completely to alleviate my symptoms. So I did take a leap of faith and I jumped onto natural desiccated thyroid, which was nature through it at that time. It was approximately four years ago. So when I switched, I definitely felt much better right away. As long as I kept adjusting the doses every six to eight weeks, I felt better and better. I lost all my pregnancy weight. My energy was at the highest level at it's ever been. And then uh, probably two years into it, when I was still optimal on nature steroid and had no bad symptoms and I felt great, I realized that something happened. And then I started Googling, of course, like any thyroid patient, um, I'm, I'm doing the same. I Google nature steroid. So what did show up? I love the website Stop the Thyroid Madness because they do take a great deal of um, care when they post about thyroid news. So what I found out is that nature steroid was, it was on back order and I was aware of that, but it was also reformulated when it got back onto the market. And after I believe two or three months on nature steroid, since, it's, since it had been reformulated, I did go to get my labs done and my TSH was before it was probably, I, I don't remember exactly, but it was around 0 0.14. It was quite suppressed and all of a sudden it jumped to two, which really freaked me out because I don't like my TSH being higher than 0 point something when it's suppressed. And my free T3 was, was low at that point, um, lower than it used to be, I believe it's 2.5. And usually it runs into 3.2 range. Um, and obviously my T4 was low too. So I haven't changed anything except for this reformulated nature through it. After I looked up the news online and what other patients were writing about it, I decided to, sw to switch myself on NP to NP thyroid, which was much better option at that point because it was tasting much better you could break it you know you could chew it you could use it sublingually and i love this um, thyroid hormone also for its price because it was and it is still cheap but one year into it i think the last prescription i picked up in august and i i usually take 120 milligrams in the morning so when I went to pick it up, um, they told me that it was on back order. And I'm a bit scared when things happen to be on back order. So I got um, two tablets of 60 milligrams, which is equivalent to 120 milligrams. And I went home not suspecting anything bad to happen. So nothing bad happened because it wasn't still reformulated. It tasted good. It um, smelled good. I couldn't complain. So my my short my supply ran out and I went to pick up the next dose, which is 120 milligrams. At, at that point, I was aware, like for example, one of my patients, and I couldn't actually figure out what happened. But basically, um, I optimized her thyroid levels, but somehow she gained 20 pounds on NP thyroid in the last three months. So when I asked her if um, she was aware that it tastes different, she said it was always tasted, it always tasted gross. So she didn't have anything to compare to. Well, I did have something to compare to and I definitely can attest to it that the new NP thyroid tastes really bad. It smells okay, I mean, I, I'm not very sensitive to smell so I can't tolerate that, but the aftertaste is really gross. So my dilemma at this point, do I, go ahead and suffer for through two, three months of supplementing with this NP thyroid to figure out if it's causing any bad symptoms or if my labs go awry, or do I just switch to something else? And at this point, I decided to switch to something else because it takes around six weeks to get 
into that six to eight weeks to get suboptimal in thyroid hormone. But then if you decide to change, it also takes you six to eight weeks to get optimal in it. So basically you lose between two to six months of your life dealing with unexplainable explained symptoms and you may not feel very good doing that um, at the same time your family may suffer too because for me if i go hypothyroid i definitely feel depressive symptoms i don't have a depression it's not the true depression it's depression caused by the lack of thyroid hormone so Depression can have a lot of different symptoms, um, different causes, and it's important to know how you feel in general, right? So at this point, I'm switching myself. Well, I made a little loop around and decided to save money and switched myself to the equivalent dose of um, compounded T43 through the, one of the compounded pharmacies in Gilbert. But what happened within three days, I couldn't recognize myself weeping crying um, with no reason that's not me being like hardly able to function being tired wanting a nap in the middle of the day is that's not me either so instead of looking into all the serotonin and neurotransmitters and what do I like a dopamine and other things it occurred to me on day four that's probably this new thyroid hormone that I took from the compound and pharmacy. Either I cannot break it down, like the capsule that they compounded in, um, I cannot digest it and break it down, or um, I cannot break down the filler that they use to, to bind T4 and T3. So who knows, I'm not sure I'm gonna call the pharmacy and find out what kind of filler they used. But at this point, probably in the my best option is Armothroid or Levothyroxine with um, Cytamel, which is T3, dosed accordingly, you know, equivalently to what I had before on 120 milligrams of um, NP thyroid. I don't know if it's worse for you to keep taking NP thyroid just because some people report they have no symptoms, like, all their symptoms are okay. They don't have any hypothyroid symptoms on particular NP thyroid um, lot that they picked up, but there is no way to know which lot is actually um, gonna do any different, you know, which lot is compromised basically. So I did talk to a seller representative and they all they told me is that they switched the API and I couldn't figure out what API stands for, but basically it's um, um, active pharmaceutical ingredient. So basically this, it is the porcine or pig's thyroid. They used to source it from the United States, but because the prices got more expensive or the demand got higher, they had to source it from Europe, but they wouldn't tell me what kind what country, what European country they're sourcing from. All they could tell is that the, the facility is FDA inspected where they source porcine, porcine thyroid from. So, well, it doesn't explain a lot of things. Why does it smell bad? Why does it taste worse than it was <clears throat> before? And um, why people have the return of hypothyroid symptoms plus more when they were optimal on some doses that they had before. And it's definitely complicated if you are starting thyroid, natural desiccated thyroid, because you don't know if it's unreliable, do unreliable NP thyroid that's causing your symptoms to stay, or it's just the dose that you need to keep increasing until your symptoms disappear and your labs look better. So, this is my tidbit on NP thyroid. Educate yourself, and if you haven't heard it from your doctor or healthcare provider, definitely ask them about their opinion. But if you need more information, ask me questions in the comments below or direct message me. Bye bye.